Haleluya. Yes, I see my turn. Is somebody very Zimamurque? Is somebody to get around the one who was a Haleluya? Is somebody to get to this about to revo? Haleluya. Echo to come any man out of my situation. Move you out to Musumba. Haleluya. Haleluya. Yes, I see my turn. Praise God. Have you ever a good morning? Greet your neighbor that praise Jesus. We thank God. For he has allowed us to be blessed in his house today. A very joyous day today. Let me tell you something little. Something you have to try in your life. God is not for the dead. God is for the alive. Praise God. We don't like people using their cameras when we are in church. Uh, let's sing a song in praising God, a 66th song. We can sing while seated, there's no problem. The sixtieth song in praising God. We muti murira uze kwa Yesu. Ama kuba ya we uya mugire mugire buhoro imikuisa we mugiwa kani we shirame jana yisiri shirame jana yisiri. Muti murira Uze kwa Yesu Ama kuwa Ama kuwa Yawe Uya mungiru Uya mungiru Uya mungiru Uya mungiru Uya mungiru Thank you. 
We welcome all of you. Uh, in this church called Gospel Assembly Church. Pastor Robert. He's called Pastor Robert. He's the pastor of this church. There are other pastors he works with. He, uh, he welcomes all of you. Uh, we welcome our Christians, our protocols and the worshippers. Uh, all of you be blessed by God. Let's welcome uh, the first timers in this church. Please stand up on your feet. And we welcome you. May God bless you, all our visitors. Thank you for coming in the temple of God. Uh, whatever brought you here, you will see it. Please sit in the presence of God. And uh, to the ones following us, we welcome all of you. May the peace of God be with you. Let's read the word of God without delaying. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 40, verse 4. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Chapter 40, verse 4. Let's read in the name of Jesus. To the one following us, you read in the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 40, verse 4. You can share the word of God. Amen. Let's read in the English version, Jeremiah chapter 40, verse 4. But today I'm freeing you from the chains on your wrists. Come with me to Babylon, if you like, and, if, and I will look after you. But if you do not want, then do not come. Look, the whole country lies before you. Go wherever you please. Amen. Let's read in the book of Lamentations. It's next to Jeremiah. Chapter 5. Verse 7. Lamentations. Chapter 5, verse 7. Uh, in the English version, it says, Our ancestors' sins and are no more. And we bear their punishment. Amen. Let's keep our Bibles and be in the Word of God. Uh, whoever wants to take notes, it is okay. Let's talk about this Word of God. Uh, that says that liberating yourself or freeing yourself. Or being freed or being delivered. Many people pray, but many times they pray without knowing what they are praying for. Many people fast, but they don't know the importance of fasting. Uh, most especially Christians who know God, we come and be saved and we follow God, but we follow Him when we have not left some things behind us. 
when we have not let go of some things. That's where we get problems. And you find someone is praying, but they don't get answered. And you find they have kept away from sin. There are some things, some sins you left. And you pray. And you go in, in, in deep waters to pray. Or in the, on the mountains. Even in different churches. But you find God does not answer you. And you keep asking yourself why God does not answer your prayers. Yes, May God be with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another thing you find everything you, you put your eyes to it does not work out. And you keep asking yourself why. Everything you plan to do that is good it does not come out. And you ask yourself the reason why. I want to tell you today we talk about the word that will deliver your life that will change your life that will change everything in your life and you enter in, in the promises of God. Praise God. I want I want you to listen to this word. Yes, Jesus said that when they get to know the truth, the truth will set them free. God has brought you here today and to the one following us so that you can know the truth and after you have known the truth in the word and the word will set you free it will get the useless things in your life. It will bring the Clap useless in things in your life. Clap for Jesus. Praise God. The word has told us that today I've freed you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word has said no, no, you must. that today you, you, have, you what, have come to pray. You have been blessed and come in the church. To the one following us. God has freed you. After you have been freed, He will break all the chains on your wrists. Yes, Praise Jesus. But before you go to the free part, if God has said that he's going to free you, it's because you, there is something that is you. It's because we are changed. The second thing, if he has said he's going to unchange you on, on our wrists, even if we have them, where did all those things come from? They're the ones we are going to talk about. Tell your neighbor to be awake. To the one following us, be awake, be alert. We have many problems in our heads. And we keep asking them uh, ourselves. And they know you also keep asking yourself. You, you ask yourself why you never develop at all. Why your life never changes. Why poverty keeps following you. Why? Why you had an education but you have never gotten a job? Why have I reached the marriage? Uh, I have never gotten married. There are things you ask yourself. But today, you are going to be answered. Hallelujah. In, in that answer, it will free yes. you in the name of Jesus. I want God to change your life. I, I well know now we are not children of God. We are children of God. We are children of the Almighty God. 
Ariko na yango tuganire kuri iryo sha. I want us to talk about that word. Uraza kuoka mu izina rya Yesu. Be freed in the name of Jesus. Ndaza kugusengera. I'm going to pray for you. Ndagusengera mu ishambo. And I pray for you Lord. Ndaza kugusengera. Ibyo bikuboshye. Whatever is chaining you. Uraza gutanukana nabyo. You'll you'll depart from them. Mu izina rya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give God glory. This is a year of blessing in your life. It's a year of deliverance in your life. You have to receive thanks in your life. God did not create you to be in troubles. God did not create you to be a sacrifice for others. God did not create you to be a beggar. Oh, to just wait on others for help. I want today you also become a blessing to others. Amen. Amen. The word we just read it has told us that our ancestors sinned but they are, they are no more and we are carrying their burdens and, and, and we are being punished for their sins we are being punished for our sins we are being punished for their sacrifices we are being punished for the gods they served the outcomes they did they are also being outcomes on our lives but today the word of God or the God we know or the blood of Jesus that freed us is going to erase us of all curses and we are going to be separated from the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We rakari rabanu. We rakari rabanu. Do not be angry at people. Rakari la Satan. Please be angry at Satan. Rakari la mufumo. Be angry at the Christ. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dada taba kozibza. Our parents sinned. Nibatiriho. And they are no more. Tui kore ibichumurubza. And we are carrying their punishments. Aba baraba na ba Israel. And these children. Ba be ne kora. And, and the, the children of Korah. And, and the children of Dathan. They were born. And they lived. And they lived in a bad life. And nothing they put their arms to that was successful. And because of the blessing of God. They sat and looked back at their lives. And they found that the punishment that was on them was for their parents. And then they asked themselves. Our parents sinned. And they are no more. And even us now. We are going to bear their burdens. They said it cannot be in the name of Jesus. Then they said, we know now our Jesus. We know the forgiveness of God. That those who trust in Jesus will free them. He will free them. We know the truth. And we sought the face of God. After they have prayed, God gave them value. Hallelujah. But they had known the truth. When you get to know the truth, it sets you free. Our parents sinned. They had sacrificed you. I want to tell you the chains God is going to separate you from. The first chain the first chain was the curse from our parents. They would curse you that you die without developing. That is the first chain. You die without having anything good in your life. That first chain. It works with uh, the lack of money. It works with undevelopment. 
and you find yourself you try all means to divide but because you still have the other of not developing even if you receive even if you get a good job even if you get money you do not know how those people perish why? There is a chain on you. There is a chain upon your life of not developing. But could you today God has said that I'm going to set you from on your wrists. I want that chain of not developing that is fighting your life. That is fighting your life. That you be freed in the name of Jesus. Raise your hand and I pray for you. you. That, that chain of not That chain of, of, of money. Lord, we want to thank you for this chain. 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 We want to thank you for Amen. God has separated us from the chains, the chains of poverty. Yes, Praise Jesus. That is the first chain of not developing. Yes, Praise Jesus. Another chain. It is a chain of saying that, that you die without having anything good on your life. Your family sacrificed you. Your parents sacrificed you. Because of the gods they, they were. They were worshipping idols. They were working with different things. That is why today, if I tell you that today, raise your hands, that a few who have not gone to witch doctors, there are very few among them. Or those who do not they have cuts cha. on their bodies, they are few in you. All of, almost everyone do you know why you have this? It is because of the idols you worship. It is because of the idols your parents worship. They, they trained you to go to witch doctors. That's why when you have a problem, before you think of coming to church, you first go to witch doctors. You first go to evil doers. Then that is a curse. From the curses from your parents. That is why. The, the second chain. They said. That you die. Without having any development thing on their life. Have you had the second chain? That you die without any development on your life. May God be with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second chain. You die without anything tangible in your life. That you'll find many people here. And almost all of us have that chain. Uh, that is why you'll find you find an example like an old man they have like 60 years but they are still begging they are still uh, selling these cheap clothes along the way and, and you ask yourselves how are the children living if he can sell cheap clothes is it because he never had land he had it. But he sold all of it from the first time. And, uh, what will show you that you have that curse? You sell your share and if you start selling your share, just know you have that curse. Another example. See the number. 
If you find that a few have houses here, there are very few among you. Is it because we never had land? We had them. But we have this spirit of roaming around. The spirit that says that he never develops at all. You see uh, our number here. It is not because we never had a money. It's not because we never had good jobs. It's not because we never had chances. But we ah, it left you when you were seeing it. What does that mean? That curse they put on your life. That you die without having anything on your life. It is still upon you. And I want you to die. That demon that is fighting you. That chain. That says that you die without you being. I want us to separate us and say me in the name of Jesus. I want to say today. I want to bless you. For dying after you have done great things on your life. Have we had that? It's where you'll find Papa your, your dad is Mama there. Arahari. Your dad is your mom is there. But they are still renting. And you ask yourselves, did they, they have land? Masu. Did they have houses? If they are still renting. And if you don't chase away that curse, you will also be in that curse. But I want to tell you today. We chase away all those curses upon our they lives. Are in we uh, decree blessings on our lives. That's why you'll find. Even you who, who said it. Or who got chances. Even when you try to do something good. Life does not uh, work uh, Even to the, the you following us. You are still roaming around. You don't have a focus on your life. You, you thank God that you have got another day. Are we understanding? You find that you, you studied, but wherever you put your papers, you never get a job. It's not because there are no jobs. jobs are there. But because you have a curse upon your life, you can never get a job. Even when you try to get it, they chase you after one month. You are just there. You keep asking yourself. I told you that do not get angry at people. Get angry at Our parents sinned. And they are no more. That's why we have this spirit of roaming around. The, the second chain. It works with another chain. That you just die uh, in the world roaming. That's why you'll find that your parents back in the days, whenever you could get rumbles, you'll, you'll hear them say that you just go like air. You go like air. It, it's called going like wind. There are some plants that go like wind or like flowers. Means that curse, that curse, if you do not uh, break it or pray and it goes away. They, they say that you go and die on the way without having anywhere. It's because they, of the idols they worshipped. Those idols never allowed them. They never allowed them to bless you. No. Instead they would curse you. That you go die like that. You die begging. Or you are stupid or, or your parents. That it's the th same things they tell their children. You stupid person. You dog. You stupid. And you find that your child on a on a daily uh, basis, you curse them. And the mouth of a parent. 
Ah, uh, God does not uh, play. Whatever you speak with your mouth, it, it comes upon them. And when the child grows up and they become like a dog, and, and, and the child uh, starts uh, the reason God. is because you are saying all those bad words upon their lives. Our parents sinned. And when you die, all those curses you put on your child, they will come back to them. And they will be saying that our parents sinned. And my, and my dad cursed me. My mom cursed me. And now I'm carrying their sins. May God be with us. And you find someone has died just on the way. What does that mean? And it's, it's the same way you hear that we, we don't know where someone went. There are families that tell you that I had my sisters and brothers, but I don't know where they are. I don't know if they are dead or not. We just saw them living. Uh, that's the thing they call no, that you no, die like no, that. No. There is also when you hear them saying that someone just fell in the water and died. Someone just committed suicide. And they just slipped in the swimming pool. Or when they were climbing the stairs. Or they died when they were okay, now they are dead. Oh, sorry. They and you, find, you ask yourself what that is. And you ask yourself what takes their lives. And you keep asking yourself. They have chains that say that they will die like that in a known Way. And a Christian, even if you pray without chasing away those curses, they will still follow you. And you, and you keep asking you, Pastor, that why do I fast three days but nothing changes? Uh, God told Gideon that before you follow me, Go and break the altars at your father's home. And uh, break away those old, altars of idols. Please leave them. Whatever money you gave to altars, it is still following you. It is still on your life. That blood they got from you with the it is still following you. Before you follow me, please go break those altars and you burn them them. and you burn them. and those curses and you come and follow me. But we have a problem with Christians. But we follow Jesus without breaking the altars. And, and you find even if you pray or not, there is no difference. And you find before you pray, you are still believing that life. And even after following Jesus, you are still living that bad life. You find that there is no change. Why? You never chased away the curses. The third chain. It is dying without marrying. They say that our, our children die without marrying. Well, they just did one thing. They just uh, give birth when they are still at home. I want you to look back. If, if, if we look around in our country, uh, people who live together when they have tied the note, they are very few. 
until our our government had a revelation and, and put a time of marrying everyone legally. Our government had a revelation to chase away that curse of never marrying. Even up to today. Even some of us even those who are married legally are very few. Why? Why? They, they bewitch you so that you die without marrying. It's the same thing you'll find that if you have five children, they all gave birth at home. And the second thing, you find at home no one married legally. Before you get married legally, even, even to God, you are not married. Not only to God, even on the laws of the country, someone may chase you the way they want. Because you are, you are not living there legally. You are still living in that <laughs> kind of life. You have no value. <laughs> you are not written anywhere. <laughs> that curse is upon you. Are we hearing that? Well? That's why the husband overlooks you the way and he wants. And, and if they get another one and they marry legally, there is no way you will go to court. What they do, they just uh, uh, look at the children. <laughs> That's why I wish that if you are living with a husband without, without being married legal, please do that and you chase away the curse in the name of Jesus. Have we heard that? To die without being married. No, no. Even those who try to be married, they just spend a year in their home and they leave it and they go to another home. And they also give birth in that in one and go to another one. one. In two years, they have two children. Akaruvam. And they leave that one as well. And you find that a woman has um, been married in um, five um, homes. Um, um, and even the husband is like that in we five um, homes. Um, Please do not say that uh, um, they are um, very um, 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 it is, The problem is because you um, don't know um, how to um, marry um, it is the curse that says that you, you die without getting married. Are we getting that? If we say that uh, those, you, those of you who have left homes, you are many. Even those who married themselves to homes, are many. What will show that you have a curse? What will show that you have a curse? You meet uh, with a guy and they, if they tell you that you live together, you become as if you've been mind controlled. And then you just live with them without uh, And when they come to pray, they just tell you that they told, uh, told me we'll be living together. You have already left your value. And there are those even who spend three months in homes. And they just uh, chase away uh, their partners. Because you have a curse upon your life. When someone has a curse upon their lives, they don't listen to God. Another thing that will show that someone has a curse, whatever you fear is, a, is, that, is the same thing that comes upon you because you have a curse. But today I want you to be freed from those curses. God has told me to, to preach this word that delivers you. Many people were not delivered. But God has said that I, I preach this word that will deliver you. That those chains uh, be freed from your wrists. Dying without marrying.
is why you'll find our parents sinned but they are normal now we have a problem these days we have many girls in our country I mean they, they are past the age of, of having homes if they can show them to us there are very many those who have left homes or who have uh, given up, there are many. We have reached a level. It's to, we have reached a level when you tell someone that you're going to be married, they become relieved. But being married is not a miracle. It's something God prepared for us. It is among the blessings God gave us. Even getting married is a man. So getting married is not a miracle. But because we have those curses upon our lives, before you get married, you sweat for it. Why? It's because you have been freed from the curse. Have we heard that well? You might be asking yourself that God, why don't I ever get married? It's that curse upon your life. It's the reason we have prayer requests of parents are praying for their children to get married. All those are curses from our parents that we die so without getting married. Nabanu. It's not because you don't have so friends. Have it's not because there are no girls or boys. But though everyone is helpless. Uh, there are those who want to commit adultery with you. Even those you try and have a program of, being, of living together. In the morning, you'll not see them coming back. You don't know the reason they leave you. It is that curse that takes them away. Have we got it? But I want today the word of God to deliver you. I want you to think about this word and get it so that it frees your life or delivers your life. Yes, Praise Jesus. Fourth now. The fourth chain. You've gotten the third chain. The third chain is dying without getting married. Uh, uh, from a long time ago, our parents sinned. Every family, they had someone who would die without getting married. If you don't believe it, please go Buri, ask or look back. Every family you would find they have a girl. Even boys would be there. And, and you hear that they died or even they are still living up to now but without ibi, getting married. Ibi, ibi hari, there are things that are there na, and are kumva, wa, wa, And to the one following us, you've, you've made 50 years without getting married. And before they die, when there is someone who is going to take uh, that place, have we got it? So when we tell our boys and girls to pray, there is time when they are still uh, staggering. When, when they are still in the life of this world, and they don't, uh, and they don't love even boys who try, and, and when you tell them that they are going to be prayed for, they tell you they have no time. And by the time they realize it, they are old. 
uko nabo nugire ngo basangiye banga abantu basangira bakundwa n'abantu n'abantu benshi they also started uh, hating people or neglecting the boys who had interest in them bigeze gusengera umukobwa i prayed for a girl one time ndagira ngo nakukumva i want you to listen to that udashatse dying without marrying when Satan sees that you have that uh, vision of marriage, he sends that demon that, that says that uh, you hate boys or you even to the one following us they sent this devil upon your life so that you keep hating boys who try or who have interest in you this lady had money every but she started dating those boys or neglecting the boys and we met when she was years. when she had me uh, preach on the radio uh, preaching to this uh, delivering word and then she came looking for me when we prayed I, I found out that she was bewitched uh, to have that demon of neglecting boys she told me that hating those boys or having no interest in them was the wise thing to do. Uh, for her, she thought that the boy she wanted or the man she wanted was wicked. And she was 40 years that time. She came telling me that pastor no one calls me or beeps me. But she didn't know where the problem was. There is a reason as to why God has brought him in his house. There is a reason as to why God has told you to follow us online. There is a reason as to why you're listening to this one. It's because God wants to feel you or deliver you. God wants to do for you. After praying for her, she got married. Now she has four children. But if she never got uh, delivered, she would have died like that. That there is one she wants, so she's way still waiting. May God be with us. Let's give God glory. I know that you knew you're following us. Uh, the fourth chain. Dying without giving birth or having children. I want to tell you two blessings God uh, meant for us. Uh, the first gift is his word. When we have gotten the word, it, 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 it frees us and gives us value and, and, it it Jesus, and, and takes away the curses. That is the first gift. The second gift it's the Holy Spirit. Oh Christ. Christ yes. yeah, Jesus Christ. The Son of God. He came and revealed to us the unknown. The third gift is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit reveals the secrets of the devil. Without the Holy Spirit, even these we wouldn't tell us. We tell them to you because we have the Holy Spirit. The fourth gift it's the gift of your husband. Your husband or your wife. That is another gift. The fourth gift. Your husband or your wife. It's also a gift from God. If you uh, take it well, it will bless you. The Bible tells us that a good home it is a very young heaven. Have we got it? Uh, 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 the fifth gift. Yeah. The fifth gift. It's children. Having children. G children are a blessing from God. 
niyo mano ibaho mu bantu bubatse bashatse imana inezeza abantu urusha no bukwe nibindi byose ni imana yo kubyara it is a gift that brings joy to those who have homes without even tangible things of the world pero niba niba imana imana ito ari kubyara if god gives us uh, the the gift of children na imana yakureme kutabyara then god did not create you to be yakureme kubyara God created us to give to to a but because of the fourth chain of dying without having children you find yourself barren and even even uh, if they can ask you why you never give birth you don't they, they, they are even those who go to the doctors and they find they, they, they go even to to different doctors but they find okay. out they ask themselves why there is a chain uh, that they cast upon your life that you never give birth. but i want that chain to break and you receive uh, birth. and you have a home and you have children in the name of jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That fourth chain of not giving birth. It works with another demon. That, 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 that is called uh, being pregnant but you ha- you miscarry. We have like two categories. There are those who never even get pregnant. No, no, there are even those who get pregnant but they miscarry. And they tell you that every pregnancy and I miscarry. And what will show you that there is a curse? They, they miscarry on certain month. There is someone I prayed for they had miscarried uh, eight pregnancies on four months. And there are those uh, there is another one I prayed for who had miscarried uh, five times. And when I was having a talk with them. They Eva. told me that when the date comes I miscarry. And you ask yourself why you miscarry on that day. Why do they miscarry on those months? It means that they were sacrificed. And they had agreement. That when someone uh, has, when they marry and pregnant, do not allow them to exist. Please try all means so that they miscarry. Even those who do not miscarry. They don't allow them to give birth and still live. They, they die in theater or they die when they are giving birth. If they don't die, the child dies. There are those things we live in. There is, a, there is some girl who was a miss and she died recently giving birth. And others even you know. Those are agreements of the devil. They say that even if you she get pregnant, pregnant, do not allow her to come out of the hospital. But in the things God created us to He created us to give birth. I want today those parts of the dead you separate yourselves from them in the name of Jesus. The word has told us that today I will see you receive free receive deliverance may God deliver you may God free you God free you Please go in the promises of God. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Yes, Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Munyuru wa gatano n'umunyururu w'icyanjye. 
the fifth chain is uh, to be hated by everyone. To be hated by everyone is a very bad thing. I keep giving you examples so that you can have these revelations. You will find that there are children who, who, who are siblings. But you will find one of them is hated. You find siblings. They, they don't agree. Don't think it is just something of recent. Those idols they worshipped, they would tell them that they die without uh, agreeing or keep disagreeing. That's why you find you have your sibling, but you never agree. You have your sister, but she never steps at home. You have sisters uh, of your husband. Uh, and you keep asking what you do. You find even the family you marry from, they don't love you. Love you. And you find the job you have gotten, no one loves you. You find in society, no one loves you. And you keep asking yourself the reason. It is that chain of being hated by everyone. There are very many cases you find children against their dads. And you, in many cases, a girl is against okay, the mother. And you find, you ask yourself what no, that is. It is that chain of being hated. And when they have that chain of being hated, people hate you without even knowing you. People knowing you without even seeing you. Even if you get a job. And they are saying that we are going no, to, to, to reduce cha. the number of employees. No, Even if you have many degrees. You will be the first on the list of those to be no, chased. But when there are chances ya of promotions. You will be left out. Kuberichi. Why? Ufitichang. Because you have that no, spirit of being able to Even if you wake up very early to work, they will give a report that you come late. Have you gotten that spirit of being hated? Have we had it? Even when you have a business, you'll just run bankrupt. They will just say that you are a witch or something. That, 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 that girl, uh, they have bad luck. Isn't it something you know? Don't you know that there are some people who call other witches? It, you have that spirit of being hated. Do you ask yourself why people hate you? Please don't be angry at those who hate you. It's because you still have that chain of being hated. Do you ask yourself why others got in the mission oh, and, they went and, you, and you are left out? It is because of that spirit of being. Don't others get chances like you? Or other children to have sponsors? And you hear that yours it was left out. It was that uh, spirit of being hated on the parents, it even follows their children. Now let me tell you something small. I want you to listen to me. The curse on you. Don't, you. don't think it's upon you. Mm -hmm. Even your descendants will, will have the same curse. Even your children. Let me give you an example. Those who have sisters, elder sisters. <laughs> uh, please look at the, their behaviors. Or your siblings. Or you will have one child who behaves like them. Have we got it? See, you have people saying that you are behaving like my brother or my elder sister. Uh, the, that, that curse, before the other one dies, it will have been on, a, on, a, on another child. And another thing, Maybe. 
if you have a drunkard husband, you will at least have one child who will be a drunkard like the dad. And you will find the mother is saying that you are like your dad. And the dad will be like you are like your mom. But you find in the examples they are giving, it is not the good examples, it is the bad ones. That's what they call uh, being hated. Let's give God glory. But the word has told us that today I'm freeing you. I'm, I'm freeing you. The chains upon your wrists. You has come to pray. You're who's following us. There are chains we are burning. There are chains we are burning. In the name of Jesus. It's the reason I had to first explain to you so that you can understand the chains. Because there is a time people live, and they sit and think and they look at the life they have lived and they, are lived, uh, they, they look at the ways nothing uh, was very good to them. Have we got it? There is someone who tells me, Pastor, I've never been happy in my life. Let me reveal to you a secret. It's not just praying. Before you pray, you first get to know where you're from. Uh, someone who does not know where they're from, they also don't know where they're going. Uh, what, what does it mean to know where you're from? Sit and think about your family, the kind of family. Look at your siblings. Uh, even those who are married, are they still in their homes? Your all five children and your all poor. Do you know finding when you're like five of you, but when one gets sick, no one can help out? And you find that even when you lose someone, you can't have transport to you and attend the funeral. And you find when even your family looks up to you, but you have nothing to help them with. Those are things that should never happen at all. Do you, do you know find? Uh, do you know uh, having your young? Sibling, uh, the one, when they are around you. Do you know begging your, your young uh, sibling? It is something even, even, even if they, they help you, but you ashamed them. At your place, they know that you live in town or city. They, they keep saying that we have a relative in town. But, but your sibling know that you died while standing. That's why when they tell that they are going to visit you, you don't allow them to come. You, you don't have where to live. You're still uh, getting together life. <laughs> for how long will you get together? Because the yes, don't go back, they just go in front. The chains upon our lives. What is the first chain? Verse 5. I told you to bring a notebook so that you can take notes. When you reach home, you, you revise the word. 
and he delivers you. And you remember how the pastor was telling it to you. And if you people are blessed, our, our preachings are always live on YouTube. You can even go to YouTube and follow the, the preachings that someone will deliver you or free you. Uyu, 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 uyu the word has told us that today I'm freeing you I'm freeing you from the chains on your wrists I want you to get separated from the power of the witches. I want you today to get separated from the power of the witches. You might know them or not know them, but just know they're there. And you might know them or not know them, but just know they're there. The third thing I want today is that I'm going to get separated from the power of the witches. You might know them or not know them, but just know they're there. And you might know them or not know them, but just know they're there. The fourth thing I want today is that I'm going to get separated from the power of the witches. You might know them or not know them, but just know they're there. Look at the word of God. And you say that whatever the devil is, I will achieve the best. I'll give birth. I'll have a home. And I'll divorce. I'll I'll divorce. I'll be someone by the name of Jesus. Let's chase away those evil spirits from which doctors. Those evil spirits from which doctors following you. Uh, the money you gave us sacrifices in which doctors. Uh, Utaraja mbapumo ni wari muzima. Umva giserere. Mbapumo ni wari muzima. Ingaru kazuku ya mbapumo. Aliko kufo wafa mbapumo. Kujiri mwonsu wano ni harijia mupi. Murugol kwa mbukapa mkaburumu. Zumfuru vingaru kaza mbapumo. Kwa kwa wicha inda sangu. Ngoziri hano. Ngatuza angu hano. Iyo ni sinyari ikuzimu. Numa ngu ni yaba pakubi sinda sangu. Changa se. Bateri nzuzi. Baitaba kuwa na kuri mwana wa satan. Kwa wajira nyigi hango na satan. Yes, Adufat. None, uyungu uyu, afiti, wawe nungana, wawe nunga wawe, haribi nubiza wika watu kwa rumu, kanijo. Yego. Kumerichi, araziribzi ya tanze mwapu. Nichuza nungi ya nguwe ni chingi. Mitekele zana wani nguwe na bakuru wanya, urazira kuwa gie mwapu. Ingaruka zoku zicha. We are chowe tingaruka zicha. Mwana ni tugire leza cha. Nono wamga na we ararugwa ara kararira yeraji yegu faka ande yishu kwenye wapumu. Yeraji yegu faka jaga rukaba tera mwuzo. Arikima ni rakubo hoye wichari mugiza pukima. Oh, she has been delivered in the name of Jesus. Do you know the reason you dream about the dead? No one prays and dreams about the dead. <laughs> Those who pray dream about <laughs> angels. <laughs> and for you, you dream about the dead. Do you know the reason you dream about <laughs> them? God wants to show you that uh, you are sacrificed. That's what it means that you are sacrificed. God wants you to, to pray and separate yourself from the sacrifices. But you, you dream about your dead dad and you'll you be happy that you talked with him. May God be with us. Every God, please stand up and we pray for you. Every girl, please stand up. 
haguruka twirukane wo munyuro kudashaka kugira ngo uzashaka na udukurikiranye izere mani rabohora ubuzima even to you following us we are going to pray for every girl so they get married ni bicyo atanze mu bapfumu ni bicyo atanze mu bapfumu baka bakubwira ko ugiye kubona umugabo waramubonye se Please let us come back to Christ. I want to tell you that you have been delivered in Jesus Christ. Abakobwa ngiye kubasengera uwo iyo minyuru yo kudashaka iyo minyuru yo kutabzara all of you girls I'm going to pray for you all those chains of not getting married nawe wari ufite ubukwe babwarabaye cyara mu myaka nk'itatu ariko satani yagiye abwicyo bana yambwiye ngo hari umuntu ukuroga waheruka Uganda ari umukecuru wasuhuje ari umukecuru usa naho utumagira kago Amen. Amen. She has been delivered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Our, our girls, please raise your hands. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Put your hands on your stomach. I want to pray for you. Let us all be on our feet and pray. Please stand up and we free you of those chains. Amen. Amen. Pray for sister and for that. Zala bene for that. To pray for men and sister for that. Lala bene for that. Zala bene for that. Fuga ngom nga mi yesu. Fuga ngom nga mi yesu. Ni mara kumbi shambor yao. Ni shambor yao. Ni shambor yao. Uyu musi wa nore Uyu musi wa nore Nambo hora Nambo hora Kanu mure ho Kanu mure ho Ime nyuru lu yose Ime nyuru lu yose Iri kumaboko yani Iri kumaboko yani Kudango ime nyuru li tam Ime nyuru li tam Kwa maze kunye jisa Kwa maze kunye jisa Da iru kanye Da iru kanye Da iru kanye Da iru kanye Nire kure Nire kure Umusi mabganye Nire kure Nire kure Ababoko yanye Nire kure Urishako rwande Nire kure
By Italian Medicine, by Italian Medicine, by a new creation, by the sun's way, by the sun, by the sun, by the by the sun, by Hallelujah, <laughs> God has told you that from today that he has freed your lives. Another thing God has told me that he has separated you from your family classes. Another thing God has told me that he has changed your life. The fourth thing that he has told you that he has that he has said that whatever has happened to you, the fifth thing that from through you, you raise your family value. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Let's God give claps. Do you know what is May God bless you. Tell your uh, to the van following you, please receive the God has delivered us. Please do not just go uh, thinking that you're still changed. Do not pray while you are still changed. Instead from today, you have been delivered. You're a different person. You are a person. Been a You've been a mighty person. You're not going to die. You live long. In the name of Jesus. May God bless you. Let's get our offerings. Please hold your offering. Your offering. Or your thanksgiving. Or oh, your thanksgiving. Uh, an offering to separate you from chains because curses do not just go away you, they go away by sacrificing something uh, uh, sacrifice take away the curses hold your tithe and you uh, tithe for God let's stand up and pray even to the one following us you can send your offer to your tithe on this number on your screen or let's read them to you uh, plus two five zero seven eight forty two eight 495 plus 
nsengera niyo mpamvu nzaza hano ibintu mvuga nzaza hano nshima imana niyo mbona mbona ni ndiko pesha pe ndiko pesha saura kozera imana ibiganza byanje ntago bifata dukomera imana amashi kubwisha ambo rya imana atugusengera imana bawicaye turagusengera nabandi muri rusange imana ibora ubuzima haleluya 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 mani shimwe yesu nashimwe cyane ndashima imana imana ikomeye kandi ikora imirimo nibitangaza nkigera hano bwa mbere yesu ashimwe cyane nimushumba yarampanuri yarambira ati ko mbonye imana igukuraho uruzerero ndavuga se ndibazaho ariko nkaba nari mfite inzu mu mahanga nkodesha yabana banje bigayo ndavuga ngo wenda iyo nzu kuko maze igihe ntayishura birashoboka ko nazaje na gasanga nibintu byanje babitaye hanze cyangwa abana bagera bagasanga barayitwaye Yesu ashimwe Yesu nashimwe cyane ariko imana burya iturebera twebgaho tutareba Yesu ashimwe Imana yabonaga inzu ndimo uyu munsi wa none wenda cyangwa ikibanza ndimo ko hari kuba wenda hatezwa na cyamunara ariko imana yacira shoboye Yesu ashimwe cyane nari mfite ahantu sare nto yayicara mu nk'abantu 200 muri cyagiye bahagarika girahagarika irahagarara bahagarika umushumba wahakoreraga aho nakuraga amafaranga biba birahagaze kandi twarafashe credit imana ishimwe cyane guhera mu kwezi kwa kabiri ubwo namwe murabyumva tu imana igenda yiyaranja yikorera ibyayo yishyura ya credit yesa ashimwe muri aya meza birashize mbura yo kwishyura ari nacyo gihe nari ndaha sinzi wenda umu protocole wa hana arabyibuka nari ndwaje numwana bimeze nabi numutwara rwarangira hese hashika yesa ashimwe noneho ninjira muri cyo kibazo turavuga tuti se noneho tuzishyura iki yesa ashimwe ariko imana yacira komeye ejo bundi muri amasengesho y'imisirindwe imana ishimwe kubera kazi sinashoboye kujya ngera hano ariko mbwira imana ngo none se mana ko ntafite nicyo kurya ukaba wavuze ko twiyiriza ubuje se diyiriza iki ndavuga ngo ari kuri imana ibyifuzo ngo shyize imbere ni ibingibi nandika ibyifuzo birindwe imana ishimwe icyambere nanditse nuko muri abo bana bari mu mahanga sinshoboye kubageraho ubu ngubu kubera impamvu zimwe muzi ikampara naravuze se ubona agera yonte ariko ndavuga ngo mana nicyo kifuzo cy'ambere nanditse ngo numpuza numwana wanye nzagushima ndongera nandika ikindi ngo nunyishurira credit nzagushima nandika ikindi ngo nunyishurira niri ya nzu y'ubugande nzagushima banzi nk'umukozi w'Imana nka mwari mu witorero none uwo mu papa azumve ngo naramwambuye ndavuga ngo mana ibisimba ishaka kuko wavuze ko ndu umukozi wawe iri ya nzu nutayishura na uzabusebye ntabwo nzaseba ngenyine iki kibanza niba kigurisha na uzabusebye ntabwo nzaseba ngenyine haleluya yesa shimwe hanyuma muri iyo minsi irindwi Nje ntabwo nayatangiye ngo nyarangize. Yesa shimwe. Ndagira ngo mbabwire iki imana yakoze mushumba ni byinshi. Ndageza andi umushitsi. Ariko ndashimira imana imana yakoze igitangaza. Yesa shimwe cyane. Sazi iteri nditeraniro ryageze ruri muri kiteraniro rya kabiri. So vuga iki imana yakoze. Umunsi wa kabiri wa masengesho igihe mwari hano nje nibwo imana yashubije icyo gitangaza yakuyemo ya credit yose. Imana ishimwe. Ya nyishuriye na yanzu imana ishimwe iyakoze ibyo rero nibindi zabikora yakuye ninzara mu rugo Yesu ashimwe Dukomera imana amashimwe cyane Yesu Kristo Dukomera imana amashimwe kuvuga amashimwe Thank you God Narababwiye ngo ndimo ndabashakira umuntu wo kuyagushima imana I'm saying I'm looking for a day we shall be thanking God Tushaka kuzawukuraho gushima imana amaterano tukazashaka umuntu wa we shall be having a different day of thanking God. There is a time when people have a lot to thank God for and they are given a few minutes. But we are looking for that day in the name of Jesus. Um, announcements. We, we are 
We have a gathering. Ari gitara mohano chaba kuziwi mana arabara makora rikora hearing. Ebiri hano mukanya ni mukoba sasa. There are going to be different choirs here, like healing choir. Abantu bakuziwi mana batandu kani ba pastor batandu kani. Other servants of God will be here. If you have some time, please come be with us in the name of Jesus. Be on our feet and we pray. Mana muizina Yesu. Turagushimye kuri mana ifite imbaraga, turagushimye kuri mana ukwizerwa. Turagushimye ko ubohoye ubwoko bwawe. Kandi uja mu gihe tubwiye ngo uratubora udukureme inyuru yose. Ndagushimye kuri ijambo tumaze kwiga Ibohoye ubuzima bwa benshi yaba abaje gusenga ndetse nabadukurikiranye online reka buri wese mwami aho ari adukurikirana iri jambo rigende ribohora ubuzima bwe ritesha agaciro bitavuga imana ahubwo ryubake agaciro ubumwe gutsinzi kunesha kuri we imuremera amashimwe kugira ngo izina gye rushwe hejuru dusengera urumwe wese mwana abohoke mu beruhande bitavuga imana byose bihagarare ku buzima bwe mbaraga za mu rwanyaga isari zo zose Turazitesha gaciro mu izina rya Yesu. Turagushimye kubaho ubuzima bw'abana bawe. Mana urakoze ko wabanye natwe muri iteraniro. Kumugisha burumwe wese kandi muremera amashimwe. Tuzongere guhora tukuramya tuguhimbaza. Urakoze mana kutwumvishije icyoro cy'ubicyabone mu izina rya Yesu Kristo mbisenze byizeye. Amen. Amaro y'Imana bane namwe. Murakoze cyane. Charo.